What's going on? Sorry, I had to cut the last video off. Uh, had to get them things straight. So I'm waiting for my Twitch to connect. I would have been doing it on my YouTube page now that I have one, but you gotta wait 24 hours before you can actually do a live stream. So I'm probably just gonna upload this video like right after or whatnot. But anyway, um, thanks for the two people who are in the room with me. What's going on, Sean? Hello, Maggie. Aren't you supposed to be getting your tattoo right now? Hey, Anved. Well, I'm glad everybody is joining me. Uh, I got a couple of things today. So I am going to be doing an unveiling of another Amazon mystery box. Like I said, if you're interested in any of the products, uh, just shoot me a message. And if you live locally, you can come pick up. Uh, if you stay out of state, of course, I'm going to do shipping. So you got to pay for shipping plus the cost, of whatever the item is. Um, this new thing that I got is Restream IO. Shout out to my peoples in Detroit that put me up on game. Yeah. Wah wah. See you. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm going to try to get a few more people in the room. Then. I'm going to start, but like I said, I got the Amazon mystery box, plus I went to the outdoor swap meet today, was looking for something totally different, but I ended up looking up upon um, a little gaming store shop or whatever. They had like these dollar little bags of mystery uh, toys or whatnot, so we're going to see what we get. I got 10 of them, so we're going to open up all 10 and see yep. yes i have a green screen sean i'm a master at that work love the background check it out yeah the lighting in the room is kind of optimal so you can actually see things now uh, a couple of previous videos that i did have it was you know a little bit dark but then slowly progressing to get things right now i'm doing it in the daytime <laughs> i got natural light too so yeah mm -mm. But I hope everyone is having a good day so far. It is a beautiful Saturday, especially here. I have to walk around a little bit, stretch my legs. But people started coughing all over the place that so we had to get up off Dodge, you know. Um, hopefully my audio is coming through really clear. Because this is my first time using this software. You know, I'm using it through a third party. I'm using OPS Studio plus Restream IO. I can stream on multiple platforms at once and not have to have all of them at the same time, you know, running. Happy holidays to you, my good friend. Hopefully you are staying safe, still getting some work out there or just grinding to get that money. Let's see. And I thought I would do this early enough. Uh, to get more people into the room, you know, be cool. Let me move these out the way so y'all can see my shirt. I didn't have a cool shirt on today. I was going to, but I didn't find anything that was likable to present. Usually I would have on like a Christmas shirt or something. Sula, what's good, bro? Yeah, yeah. Oh, Sean, trust me, I, I know it's hard times out here. I know some people still didn't get those uh, unemployment checks. Uh, but I'm still in Vegas, though. And now that I got my streaming stuff up, Sula, I'm definitely going to be joining you on that uh, Fortnite and good stuff like that. I just got to put my computer stuff in my other room now. It's like out in my front room with too much stuff out there. But I got the green screen set up, as you can see. So, slowly but surely, you know, getting into that. But yes, Ocarina of Time shit. <laughs> My good sir. Uh, but for the people that are just joining me in the room, I can see a little bit more. Like I said, I went to the swap meet today. I uh, got some little bags or whatever from this uh, gaming store or whatnot. It was like probably some pops in here with some collector figures. You know, just depending on what's the 
She said most of the stuff would be like stuff that's not sold anymore. So hopefully I get some good like rare freaking toys stuff that I can keep. But I do got an Amazon mystery box that I am going to unveil too. Open that joint up and I'll put it. <laughs> yes, trust me, I'm about to open this stuff up. Most definitely. Aaron, wow, long time no talk. How you doing? Oh, sure, you on Twitter? Oh, so I'm on Twitch, Facebook, uh, Discord. Um, what else I got? Um, a couple of other ones, but I'm trying to just restream IO. I still see like a lot of the, you know, streaming platforms that are on it that I've never even heard of. So I'm probably gonna check all of those out too. Stream all those things at one good time. Hopefully, get a nice little following, play some games, all that good stuff. You know, a lot of people aren't playing Cyberpunk because you know, kind of janky on the PS4 and the Xbox. So hopefully, that shit works for me. Yeah, I'm streaming on Twitch right now too. Uh, my name is Mr. Awesomeness Zero One. Uh, it's two Z's without two S's at the end. stuff so for the people who are in here right now i got a special little thing boom 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 uh i just got it chipped in the mail today i know people are looking for this thing like all over the place i tried to do a raffle for the nintendo switch uh, but that didn't work out so somebody just bought it off of me which was cool but for the people who are xbox fans boom i got the xbox series s it just came in the mail hot today. This is the digital one. I'm thinking of doing a raffle for this. Um, we're probably going to be $25 a person. Get you a spot. Pick your spot. I'll put that up soon. I just got to get enough people who are interested. And we shall have this thing rolling. So we shall see if there's enough people that want to win an Xbox Series S for $25. Boom. Out the door. Ship to you. If you stay out of state, yes, I will ship it to you. No problem. But, like I said, I just got to get enough people that are interested, and we shall see if we can get this thing rolling. All right. Put that to the side for now. I wish I can keep it on display, you know, but I got the camera. Kind of like, height thing, all that good stuff like that. And who was Harry? Twitch. You say, my camera isn't working? Let's see. I'm going to have to look into that. I can't really, like, see right now. Let me see if I can log on through my phone and see what's going on. Anyway, but for other people who are in the room, thanks for joining. Um, I'm trying to get my camera face ready so I can talk about things consistently, make you guys entertained, all that good stuff like that, you know. All right, I got to log in my Twitch on this end, see if I uh, get this thing right, if I can remember my password, that is. Oh yeah, my camera is not working. Can you hear me audio-wise? I think I can upload it again, like, afterwards. I'm not sure, like, what's going on on my Twitch. Uh, hopefully that audio doesn't, like, catch. Anyway, it is a wonderful Saturday, like I said. Um, I wish I could play around with the camera and get my Twitch working. But since you're on Twitch, uh, I am on Facebook Live. Uh, you can look me up as Ernest Glenn. And it's public, so you should be able to see it. Uh, all right, while we're waiting to get some people up in here, I'm gonna open up one of them just to see like what we got here. Good thing I kept my blade in here because I normally forget my scissors and all this stuff. Now I don't want to mess up the green screen in the background. 
This is the first bag out of 10. So hopefully we get something really good in this one. Oh crap, this looks like a Smurf. From the one, one of the ones that Gargamel created in the movie. The, the other female, I forgot her name. But definitely, it was one of those ones that were supposed to be like blue, but they were like gray or something. Hopefully you guys can see that. Yeah, yeah. All right, let me type this in real quick for my Twitch and then uh, my uh, Facebook account. Sweet, sweet, sweet. There we go. Uh, but yeah, this is the first toy or whatever. She's got like berry on the back and like a little blue streak across her hair on the front. Cool enough. It's pretty cool. You said it was these things are like things that aren't being like in production anymore and all that stuff like that. So hopefully it's good. We'll look up the value on that sometime later. All right, let's open up another one. So pretty much people in the room. So, ah, yeah, trust me, I was in a Coney with you. <laughs> Good old Grand River Coney. This one out. I don't even know what this is. This one's a bust. This isn't even like toys. Somebody wrapped up. I mean, I do drink beer though, so I got a koozie. But I got like hundreds of those. And then it's freaking a Modelo lanyard. Retarded. I don't even know why that would be in the bag at a kid's store. Like, what if kids like grab this stuff? Like, Mom. What is Foster's? <laughs> Crazy. Anyway, it was only a dollar, so you know, it is what it is. Let's see. Let's pick our next one up. Mm -hmm. Let's see what we got here. Now, this one's pretty good. We got some, some cars in this joint. I don't think they're Hot Wheels, but, uh, oh yeah, they are. They are most definitely Hot Wheels. Besides this last one, I don't even know what this one is. This one looks like it's kind of beat up though. It's like some Jeepster, like, crap. I have no idea. It looks like it's been used, like, a lot though, because the top paint is, like, smeared on and off of the, the hood and all that stuff like that. Too. But the wheels look like they've run kind of good. I don't know. This one, it looks like a. I can't tell what type of car this is. It looks like. I don't know, a Ford car, one of those super production ones. It kind of has the Mustang front, or the newer Mustang fronts. It's pretty dope. It doesn't look like you're very, very, very worn. Whatever. But it's cool. But this is a high wheel. Yeah. Pokemon. I do have a lot of Pokemon cards, Sean. Uh, but am I the plug? I don't think so. But I do have a lot in my collection that I haven't even like opened. They're just sitting in like boxes. Stuff. And I got one of the original first books that you used to get, and you like put your cards like in the certain spots of that book or whatever, and flip through the pages and all that stuff. So. I don't know. Maybe I got some rare ones. I'm not sure. I haven't looked at them in years, so maybe. I don't know. But I did see a lot of them at the swap meet today. They were selling them for, like, higher prices than normal. So normally, you know, you could get, like, a pack of cards from, like, Walmart or something for, like, $1.50, $3 or whatnot. These were, like, $20, $30, $50, like, packs of, like, cards. But it wasn't that many in there. So maybe it was something that was rare, like some reflector cards or something. Uh, graphic cards or something like that so maybe mm. uh let's see this one looks like a little jaguar or ferrari 
Yep, this is a Tesla. My bad. This is a Tesla Hot Wheels, which is cool. You know, if you got some kids that like little Hot Wheels and all that good stuff like that, hey, give me a shout. And we can talk about some shipping arrangements, all that good stuff. All right, for the people that's first, this is your first time joining. Uh, I do got a couple of other videos that I have done with the Amazon mystery boxes, probably like three of them. Plus the last one I did was a makeup mystery box and an Amazon mystery box. So I plan on having like another like a electronic one like today, but the guy didn't come through or whatnot. So, you know, it is what it is. But I do have one. It's just something I don't know exactly if it's uh, electronics or if it's just like random stuff that they like do together. I could go through them on a stream, but I'm not really a, a Pokemon fan like that. So I did collect them just to collect them at one point in time. So I would have to see, like I would have to brush up on my knowledge, you know, before I like get on stream and like talk about these cards. Cause I don't want to look like an idiot to some people. Holy crap. All right, I'm interested in this one. Now, this one's pretty cool. Uh, I haven't seen one of these raisins in forever since the commercials. You know, they used to do, like, the raisin commercials with the dudes with the big hands and all that stuff like that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, crap, and it moves, too. That's dope. It's supposed to, like, go back and forth. I can't really do it on the table because I don't have it, like, pointed down so y'all can see it. But I think you can, like, wind them up. Yeah, you can wind them up on the side. And he's supposed to like move. That's dope. Heck yeah. I'm gonna put that right there. I know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look that up, Sulat, and see what's good. Hopefully, I can get like the rest of them too. I know there was like three or four of them that was in like the group and they used to like sing on the commercials and stuff. Heck yeah. All right, let's get this other one out. Where is my razor? I keep losing my razor. Let's see. Oh. So, like, I'm a Pops guy. I got a collection of Pops. My mom, actually, she's in the stream right now. She's in the chat room. <laughs> she just bought me a couple of them from Rick and Morty. Uh, but I am really, really, like, a Pops dude. Like... <clears throat> Yesterday I showed off my other pops that I just got. I just got the Hamburglar and Grimace or whatnot. I'm trying to collect like the whole like collection and all of this stuff so you can barely see it because the light is like shining too much. And uh, Grimace. But yeah, if y'all come across, you know, Ronald McDonald, uh, the Fry Guys, uh, Hamburger Mayor, and the other dude, uh, please let me know because I want to had that whole collection. But <clears throat> what I just found in this box was Superman Pops. It's a little beat up a little bit, but I think I can clean them up. It's not like it's like super bad or whatnot. A little paint will probably work or whatnot. But Superman is pretty dope. I wish it was like a like all golden or you know something that was like unique or whatnot to like keep. But now I gotta make a box for this thing because I usually keep them in a box and don't even take them out. So, so. anyway, this is a cool one. Let's see. Da -da -da. What's going on, Deidre? Thanks for joining my room. I knew you would appreciate me like doing some stuff like this, so hopefully you'll see something. Um, I'm gonna take the tag off of this one. But I'm pretty sure that this dude is probably from Game of Thrones. I have no idea his name or anything like that. But I'm not a Game of Thrones fan. Sorry, don't shoot me. Um, whoever this is, if y'all know who he is, let me know so I can actually label it. <laughs> but yeah, this is pretty cool. It's in really good condition, too. It doesn't have any, like, bad marks or anything. It just needs to be cleaned off and stored somewhere and it'd be good what's going on dude thanks for joining just said uh, we're unwrapping some uh 
dollar bag that I found at the flea market today, like 10 bags. I went through one, two, three, four, five, six bags already, uh, down to the last little bit. Uh, just open them up just to see like what we got. Also, like I said, for the people who are looking for the next gen systems, I do have an Xbox Series S that I just got today. Boom, boom, boom. I was one of the lucky ones to like get this thing. I'm thinking about doing a raffle. Uh, it's gonna be $20, $25 to get into the raffle. And then I would ship it off immediately if you are out of state. If you are here, you are more than welcome to come pick it up. But, you know, most of the people that I do know probably in Michigan or Texas or Washington or whatnot. So, yeah. Okay. Next bag. Uh, this is cool. Used to be a really, really big Power Rangers fan. Black Ranger. This is pretty dope. I got a funny story about him, too. I don't think this is a Pops, though. This, I think this is a Bobblehead. Yeah. And this was from Burger King, actually. Burger King Bobblehead for the Power Rangers. So I met the original Black Ranger. Is it last year or the year before last or whatnot? He was at my favorite little bar here. And he had the nerve to be a super, you know, overrated thinking that he was like a superstar and all that stuff. Mind you, the bar was like on a Tuesday night and he was super drunk or whatnot. But I was excited. I'm like, I used to watch you as a kid. Boom, you know, we in the same VIP booth. Let's take a picture. He was like, nah, man, it's my birthday. I don't take pictures. Get out of here, man. I was like, you know what, whatever. So the drink stopped coming for him because I knew the owner of the bar too. So yeah, anyway, still a fan of the Black Ranger but just because of the Black Ranger, not because it was him. Because there was plenty of the Black Rangers who came along after that. So, that would have been cool, because I, I am a big Tommy fan, you know. But he's still trying to live in that line. Like, I don't know if you've seen uh, College Humor, uh, where he did like a dark green ranger-like type thing or whatnot. It was like a little mini-series on College Humor and stuff. And he was like playing... Uh, the world of like kind of like Rita Repulsa if she would have actually like turned him or something and then he became like the bad guy to fight like the Power Rangers you know from there on and all that stuff it was a pretty cool little mini series though I liked it yeah but yeah he should have been humble most definitely I'm like dude like nobody else knows who you are but me in here and I'm the person in here in the VIP booth next to you like that's crazy oh this is cool so we got another Smurf, and this is Brainy Smurf. So we can go to my collection uh, with the other Smurf who was made by Gargamel. Blue Yao. That's pretty dope. I mean, he's not damaged too much. Just got to clean him up a little bit. Uh, it should be good. Yeah. I don't like this stuff. What's good, April? I haven't seen you in a long time. Hopefully all is well with you. Thanks for joining. I appreciate it. So let's get this open. Let's see. We got this one and one more left. And then I'm going to jump over to the Amazon mystery box. And we can get things going. Let's see who we got here. Uh, this, what's her name? Elsa? I don't know. Whatever, which one of the ones that's from Frozen. I'm not too sure their names. <laughs> I just know that she's from Frozen. I just remembered a little thing of a jig. And all of this stuff like that, but yeah, this is dope. Keep that one too. Go with the Superman, maybe they can fight some winter shit. But I'm definitely got to get a box for her because uh, she can't stand up on her cheek because she's so icy. I say, all right, let's check these comments out. Uh, where was this colored bag? So, uh, let's see, she got this. One. So we got this, uh, we got a couple of swap meets here, but we got this big one here called uh, Broad Acres. Um, it's a really, really big outdoor swap meet. It's kind of like, you know, you would go somewhere um, and there's a bunch of little shops or whatnot. This one is kind of like, uh, there's a lot of Mexican people there actually, because they sell pretty much everything <laughs> from tacos to like type of food to, to micheladas to, 
you know, everything. But most of the booths there is kind of like uh, boosters, I guess. But now, since the holiday time is rolling around, they're open a little bit more for the holidays and all that stuff. But they still got to keep, you know, their 25% capacity because of Nevada rules and all that stuff like that. But um, one of the booths, like I said, it was like a gaming booth, whatever, like toys and all that stuff like that. She had like a couple of these bags and bins that were a dollar a piece. So I just grabbed like 10 of them. Uh, I was originally looking for something else, but the place, you know, sold out of it. So yeah. And yes, it's in Vegas. Yep, yep, yep. Let's see. Uh, my background. Uh, it is kind of digital, but it is a green screen. Yes. I wish I can help you out in all of your photos that I be seeing you posting because you know I'm a photographer too, and I like doing this shit. So this is kind of like my thing. All this stuff. So, oh crap. So I like this pop. I'm a big Ronda Rousey fan. I wish she never retired from the UFC. Um, this one's pretty cool though. Never thought I would get one of her, but I like it. It's got her with the hair, with the one braid, and all the good stuff like that on the side. But yeah, but I'm glad that she's in WWE, kind of. You know, she hasn't wrestled in quite some time, but you know, it is what it is. Hopefully, she'll get back to it one day. And I'm definitely gonna have to create a box for her too because she doesn't like to stand up either. All right, so that was the last one. Uh, let me put these away. So I can grab this box. I said thanks for the people who have joined my room. I appreciate it. The more likes, the more shares. Hopefully my YouTube thing will be up pretty soon. So I can get those subs. You know what I'm saying? I need those views, man. Those views are like crap. Alright. Y'all are probably gonna hear some Mexican music because my Mexican neighbors are about to start their party as they do every Saturday with the kids are going to be screaming because they got a trampoline in their backyard, which is going to get insane. I'm mad that they still haven't invited me over yet because I like to eat. I'm saying, and I know they always have food. Uh, so how often do they not? I mean, I never really take them out of the box, so I really don't know. <laughs> so, uh, I just know a couple of them usually have like bigger feet that they can actually like stand. Like some of them, like their feet are like little or they probably sit them on some type of pedestal that's like if you take them out of the box you can still like keep them up and all that stuff. but you know anyway uh like i said uh for the people who are just now joining i do have this xbox series s that i may do a raffle on if you guys are interested let me know i want to get a certain amount of people before i do it if not i'm gonna just keep it for myself but i know somebody is looking for a next gen if the raffle happens with team now and Monday, hopefully I can ship it off and make it two days to get it there for you for Christmas. So I know somebody in your family or a friend that you want to get a next-gen console for. So yeah, so let's put that back to the side. All right. Huh. Amazon mystery box. This mystery box. Woo. It's kind of heavy, too. Uh... I did have one good one that happened, uh, not this past one, but the one before. Oh man, it was some, it was some good stuff in there. Definitely the forty bucks that I spent on that box, I was definitely worth it. I got a ring light, I got some Echo earbuds, um, what else? I got some cool like, um, it was way more worth. What was in it than what I bought it for, and the stuff like it's it works, so yeah, what's good, DT April? Yes, you could definitely get in on that raffle. I will let you know, um, after this stream if I'm going to actually do it or not. I just like I said, I just need to know if people are interested in it. I don't want to just do it and just hold your money and then it never happens and stuff because I did that for the Nintendo Switch that I had the other week, everybody was interested into doing it. But nobody sent me money to do it, you know? Kind of one of those. Don't say anything if you're not really gonna actually do it. You know, that stuff. So, yeah. Let's see. Uh, this is a good box. I might buy a mystery box. You just cover it. I'm telling it's worth it. Sometimes it's worth it. You just have to make sure that you find a really good person that uh, gets their stuff. Like, make a relationship with them. So, so the ones that I get from this lady, uh, 
she does like this non-profit thing, but she gets a lot of Amazon returns. So more than likely, she doesn't look at the products before. She just gets the boxes and just keeps it aside. So the first one that I got, no, the first two that I got, I went to this lady, or this couple, um, $20 mystery boxes, but they were making them themselves, a lot of the stuff in their store. So it was kind of like, uh, and then the two boxes that I did get and I opened them, it wasn't, it wasn't worth it. Like there was like maybe like one or two things that was in there that was good, but everything else, it was like broken things and stuff. So most of the boxes I get from this lady now, uh, she gets returns of things that aren't broken or defective. So it's like mostly people are just, they don't want it anymore. Like you return something to Amazon and be like, oh, I found it for a better price or, you know, maybe one thing is like wrong with it, but not anything to make the product not useful anymore. So this is why I've been doing it and stuff. So, and some of the, like I said, some of the stuff is good. Um, I have some people that get some stuff. So it is what it is. So let's go through it. Uh, let me answer some questions. Uh, if you can help me, forgive me. So this one. Yes, I can definitely give you some photo tips on how to set up your screen to do some stuff like this. Um, it's all about your angles really, and lighting and stuff. I have looked at some of your photos. Some of them are okay, but I've disappointed in quite a lot of them. But we'll talk on a personal note, you know, a little bit later. Of course I can say your name right. Like, I used to talk to you all the time until you, like, disappeared and went all the way back to Iowa. So why wouldn't I know your name, April? Yeah. All right. So let's start off. This one here. Wow, oh, this is definitely a sewing kit of some sort, but it looks like more of like gauze and all of this stuff like that. If you're in a pinch and you got shot and you don't want to go to the hospital, yeah, this is for you because these needles look like some shit that can go through some skin and take you. That's crazy. Anyway, let's put that to the side, yeah. All right, um, let's see. Ooh. Which is pretty interesting. So for a lot of people, I know you probably ain't got no good fans or you got an old laptop and you need one of those coolers because you don't know how to open up your laptop and put a new fan in there because it makes a lot of loud noise and humming and all of this stuff like that. You can get a laptop cooler, which is pretty cool. Put it on the side into your USB or connect it externally. But it looks like it has a really good, decent fan in there. Good stuff with the connections and all this stuff. And the hot sink. A little bit of uh, metal part that you can connect it to, but that's only if you got like ample amount of USB ports. You don't want to connect it to like a USB adapter that you would connect to your computer because if it's not connected to where you need to put it into, because there's some more than likely there's probably some vents on the side of your computer, your laptop, and that's where you need to put it at so it can blow out that hot air and circulate in the cooler and stuff. So, yes, that is definitely a med sewing kit. Uh, yeah, they post up and probably still getting shot up over there. Ah, <laughs> oh, see, this can go in my makeup mystery box. This is a eyebrows remover. I don't understand why women would want to remove their eyebrows, but if that's something that you want to do and get them tattooed on, this is definitely for you. Uh, it looks like it's still kind of, I mean, it's heavy, but yeah. Like it got the connections and all that stuff in there too. So if this is something that you need to get those eyebrows on point, get those arches up. I got you. Let's see. Uh looks like a brand new sour uh, sour shower <laughs> install drainer. <laughs> you know, if you uh got a lot of hair and you shed too much, or if you're your dog or your cat, if you're trying to give them a bath or something, boom, here you go. This will work just for you. <laughs> give you an eyebrow removal tutorial? Nah, man, my eyebrows already on fleek, man. I can't, I can't be doing that, bro. I <laughs> can't be doing that. <laughs> Let's see, what is this? I, I, I want to say this is a... Some regular tube thing, but I have no idea what this is. This is just, it's just a tube. 
of something. Hopefully it's not sexual. Because one of my last boxes, I found something very, 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 very sexual that I uh, didn't want to describe. So anyway, because I know kids are watching. Or kids going to watch. Yeah, so anyway, uh, yeah, I don't know what this is. So let's, let's throw that to the side. Oh, shoot. I was looking at this the other day, too, because I was thinking about putting one of these in my bathroom. It's called a power perch. So what you can do is your um, where your you know plugins are depending on like if you want it in the bathroom or something like that you can you can take off that front panel and then you put this on first like boom and then you put your panel back on and then there's a perch on top that you can like put things on and all of this stuff like that more than likely probably not your phone because if they're it's over the sink and it falls in it's a wrap but you know somewhere else but you would want it. You know, especially if you need to charge your phone and you got like a plug somewhere that's in a random place that doesn't have any tables over or anything for you to like, you just leave it on the floor. Why not put that perch up there? Boom, put your phone on top of it. You're good. Toothbrush carrying. No, see that thing, it's, it's got a hole on both ends. So I don't even know. It doesn't even have a, a thing to close or whatnot. So... I mean, unless you see it somewhere else and you can put some tape over it or something, then maybe. Yeah. Yeah. What is this? Uh, these look like little incision knives. Probably to go with the medical kit. Oh, boy, not. Because these are little knives, little incision knives, uh, exacto knives. That's what they're called. There's two of them in here in a, in a little case. I would not probably go with the, the thing. Or if you're an artist and you need to cut directly on like a canvas or something like that, you know, that'll, that'll work too. Let's see. Holy crap. So in this one, there's a lot of clips. Like a whole bunch of clips. It's like a ganglio smash of freaking clips. I mean, I could actually use this on a green screen, but you know, the bigger ones I normally use, because my green screen is like huge, I usually use something like this to clamp it down on like the sides and all this stuff so the green screen won't completely move and all this stuff. So a lot of people, you know, once you take pictures in front of a green screen or any type of pictures, normally it's at an event where you're getting drunk and it can't stand up straight and then the green screen moves too much. Then, you know, you gotta have it clamped down. Boom, boom, boom. Good to go. But you could probably use these for something, you know, more simpler, hanging up some clothes or if you're steam iron, you're closing, you need to hang it up on something. Anyway, it's a big, freaking huge bag of these. So if you need them, I'll let you go. I can use a soap dish for the <laughs> Most of the time, I don't even bring my phone in the bathroom unless I'm pooping. You know, you gotta scroll through Facebook when you're on the toilet. So, you know. Showering, you know, I just got the Bluetooth so we can. Echo in there and I can listen to my Apple music or whatnot. So, oh crap, there's a lot of this in here. What is this? Um, and it keeps freaking falling out. This is probably why they got rid of it. But anyway, these look like little uh, hangers or something that you can put like a curtain through or something. It's like a small thing, but it had like little silicone things for you to like put each one in. But it just looked like it's just too much all over the place. Like the person who returned this did not do a good job of wrapping this up. So this was a, a waste. Or it probably came like that to that person, and that's why they sent it back and whatnot. They got the gorilla grip clips. Yes, gorilla clips work, bro. Like these ones here are like almost similar to those, but I do like the other ones better. They were just way bigger than this. That I couldn't like really use it on so like when I get my screen up I don't want it to show so like these like I can put it on and then it can wrap around inside the curtain because I got my curtains like a little bit longer than the actual stand so, so yeah all right let's see what is this I have no idea so let's pass on that let's see I just bought one of these Damn it! probably gonna have to return them so anyway, uh, if you have a dog and you're trying to train it, this is one of those ultra dog repellent and training devices. You know, it makes the little high-pitched noise for dogs to hear and all those stuff. 
it's really, really good when it comes to training. I got a pug and a Boston Terrier, and my pug, let me tell you, he is, like, super bad. Like, really bad. Like, we're trying to get him to not be on the couch, but, like, we get him off the couch, and he'll jump right back up, and it's like he doesn't listen. And then when you talk to him and stuff, he'll just sit there and look at you like, what the hell are you talking about? Like, I'm not going to listen to anything that you say. It doesn't matter. So, and then my girlfriend is not going to help either. She loves to love you dumb all the game on time, so they don't listen to her at all or whatnot. Anyway, yeah, like I said, uh, training device, pet repellent. Seems like it works. Still kind of like in the thing, but it, it, it is open though. But yeah. Let's see. We got these fresh pair of kicks. They just say fashion. They look like chucks, but they, I'm pretty sure they're not. But they, you know, little loafers. Whatever driving loafers or whatnot, but yeah, they look like uh, Chuck's Converse or whatnot. You know, the little siding and stuff like that. So I don't know. we'll see how much these are work. Look brand new. They don't look like they've been worn. The bottom of them still look like they're in good shape. Uh, the size, uh, they are size eight. I'm not sure if it's in women or men, but it says size eight. So if you need some shoes and you like these. I let you boy. Let's see. Oh, I need some more of these too. Uh, you know, little outlet plugs for uh, three prone. If you need to plug them in, multiple, whatever, up to three, whatnot. I think there's two in this box. Yeah, there's a two pack. So I can get two of them in there. Let me just make sure. I'm always, yep, yeah, that's two. I'm always looking to plug in stuff and. Some odd reason all of my plugs are three chrome plugs because they need brown or whatnot. So, whatevs. But... Oh, yeah. The last couple of boxes I think I have came up on the $40, you know, just for the stuff that was in there. Just me, like, looking through, like, Amazon or eBay just to see, like, how much they actually are and all this stuff. But more than likely, almost all the time, you know, for the last couple of boxes, I have, like, gotten more than $40 worth. In each box, so yeah. Oh, uh, what is this? I'm kind of scared to touch the inside because it looks like a lot of plastic, like silicone. I hope it's not like a blow-up doll or anything. It looks pinkish and it has feet or shoes. I I'm scared to open this, y'all. <laughs> Oh, it's balloons, but it smells like used condoms. Oh my God. Yeah, but it has like flakes in it or whatnot. So when you blow them up, it's supposed to have like designs in it and all that stuff like that. But literally these balloons smell like used condoms. That's disgusting. Okay, let's definitely wrap this back up. <laughs> oh man that was bad that's that's it still smells <sighs> all right i think this is a mass yeah uh it's a two-pack mass yeah i don't want to open it just in case somebody needs one i can send it to them it's not open and touched by anybody but yeah if you need a mass Right, what is this? Wonder when? Hopefully, man. I'm scared of like opening stuff like this. Either it's weed or it's sexual stuff when it comes in stuff like this. Let's see. I don't even know what these are. I wonder. Are these going to be I think these are those things that go on the bottom of your on your foot, like your, your heels and all this stuff like that. You know, if you're like flat footed or something like that. I think. I'm not sure. I'm not 100% positive because there's no description of this stuff. But it feels cushiony. Maybe. I don't know. If you know what this is, it's kind of got like a band around it and you can wrap it around and it's got a green little thing or whatnot. If you know what this is, let me know. Um, 
100% not sure what it is. Yeah. Oh, shoot. Uh, this is for like one of your sports bottle tops that has the little thing. For what size, I do not know. But if you got like one of those thermo cups or a shaker bottle or something like that, it's got a handle that you can hold and it's got a screw on it and you can twist this part off and you can drink. So if you need one, yeah. Or extra or a replacement. All right. More dog booties. Urgh, dog booties. So they can walk. If you got a little girl, I think these are a size four. For dogs, maybe a large. I'm not sure because they look they look kind of big or whatever. But if you like to dress your dog up, this is definitely for you. <laughs> or a cat, maybe, you know, if you want to see him walk around and do some crap like that, you know. It's always fun. Alright. Uh, silicone little things, you know, if you're a baker or whatnot and you just want to make some cool designs and some Brownie, cookie, or whatnot. You know, it comes in a set different colors or whatever. Or you could put jello shots in here, make them bigger. That'd be awesome. This is what, how many? One, two, three, four, four, eight, twelve. And uh, orange, purple, and green. So if this is you, I'll let you go. I got a couple of other things that are uh, baking for baking as well. Other boxes that I did in the previous videos or whatnot. So check those out. Let me know if you like it and all of this stuff like that. We can talk about shipping it to you. All right, let's see. Dog collar. It's got like diamonds around that mode. Plymouths or whatnot. It looks like it's for a large dog. But not. It's pretty. It's pretty big. Um, looks brand new still. Doesn't look like it's been worn or chewed or anything like that. So if you need a dog collar, you can get. All right, what's this? Dramatic high profile art. I'm guessing these are, I want to say a nail kit, but I'm not sure. It says instant perfection stilettos. Dramatic high profile arch is clear. Something like an overlay or something like that. I am not sure. So the females in the room, if you know what this is, trying to get the perfect angle so you can actually see what they look like. I don't know. They look like in tips of a nail to me. But I am not sure. But yeah, if you if you know what they are, it's 500 tips. And it says size 1 through 10. It said deep and elegant curves for thinner overlays. New, newly sized for easier and better fit. So this tray contains 500 tips, 50 each, of sizes 1 through 10. So, yeah. Let's confuse the guy. <laughs> exactly. Let's confuse the guys. I have no idea what that is. All right, let's see. What we got? Um, Jesus Christ. Um, is this a so? Oh no! Okay. Woo! I thought this was. I thought. <laughs> I thought these were like doctor shows. <laughs> but like a size like twenty or something. <laughs> but no, nah, it's a uh, it's a resting thing, you know, for if you're on a computer and all this stuff like that. You know, if you're typing on the keyboard, so boom and all this stuff, and then you got the one for the mouse too. So yeah, that's pretty cool. If you need one of those. Get your boy a call. All right. Let's see. Uh, another two. Maybe this goes with that purple thing. Because it doesn't have anything else in here. It's just a two. So, yeah. But yeah, I was I was thinking that too, that it was <laughs> a size for Shaq and his foot. <laughs> that would be crazy. All right. Let's see. Commit to be fit. All right, it's a slimming machine, uh, EMS body three in one. I'm guessing it's one of those electric pulses that you would put like on your stomach and all of a sudden, like, rawr, 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 rawr. you know, everything but going to the gym, you know, just go to the gym. Why buy all of this equipment? And, you know, it's not going to stay off if you keep using this stuff. 
you know, pills and all that stuff like that don't work. That's just, you just got to eat healthy and go to the gym. It's, it's that simple, but people think they don't have time, you know. The reason why I don't go is because I like to drink beer, so that's my excuse. I'm not saying that I want to go to the gym, but I'd rather drink beer than go to the gym. If they had beer at the gym that I can, like, work out and drink beer at the same time, I probably would go. But yeah, Slim Machine. If you need it, I'll let you go. Oh yeah, so, uh, for the people who have never been in my room before, I am going to be starting another show um, 30 next month. It is going to be called Mad Drinks. Um, speaking about um, the beer thing and all this stuff like that, I am going to be weekly doing a show, uh, drinking three different beers, uh, just talking about the make, uh, the permitment, uh, where it's made, and all of this stuff like that, how it tastes. Uh, I'm going to try to put out the list of beers beforehand. So if you want to drink with me, uh, totally can. Or you can just watch me drink the beer and talk about it. I ask some questions. Uh, actually, probably join me in the room too, because I'm probably going to do pretty much the same little setup, but you know, invite people to join the stream as well. Uh, yeah, hopefully you guys will enjoy that. Um, hopefully next week I will have those long rumored crown royal cocktails uh hopefully a friend of mine or my cousin comes through and sends it to me so i can have it and if so i'm going to do be doing an earlier uh probably like a 30 40 minute uh video just talking about how it tastes you know if you should add some extra crown royal or <laughs> if it tastes good just the way that it is uh, i just picked up some different ones it's called cut water uh, they got a whiskey mule, they got a tequila, sunrise, um, they got a vodka and cranberry and another different flavor. Um, I tried them yesterday. I tried the whiskey mule or yesterday and it was pretty good. Um, there was a whole lot more whiskey in there than I thought it was going to be, but uh, it was whiskey, uh, a splash of lemon and ginger ale, uh, but it tastes really good. Um, it didn't have any burnness in it, but you know, it was pretty good. So anyway, jumping back to this box. Let's see. All right, if anybody's birthday is coming up, it doesn't have a number on it, but it does say happy birthday. And I'm guessing that means over the hill or something. You know, with a bicycle, it's about to jump over this little thing or whatnot. I don't know. I'll just donate that because I don't think anybody would pay for shipping for that. You know? Or put it on my Amazon FBA or something. We'll see. Right, let's put this back on. Sorry. Let's see. All right. Oh, I was going to buy one of these too. Oh, God. Being overseas in the military kind of spoiled me for quite some time, especially when I went to these other countries. And they look at uh, Americans as being kind of dirty for wiping our butts with tissue. It was like, you guys don't have bidets? Oh, okay. Well, let's tell you. Just make your butt so fresh and so clean. This is what everybody should have been buying instead of toilet paper when this pandemic happened. Like this thing right here would make your butt nice. Nice and clean. Nice and flipping clean. So I am glad that I got this because I'm probably going to install this on my toilet or one of my toilets or whatnot. So this is good to have. Especially if we go into something like this again, this would be good to have. There you go. Step known. Let's see, what is this? This may be uh, another, it's just like a laundry bag. I don't want to open it. Yeah, I think it's a laundry bag. If you need one of those for traveling, let me know. All right, let's check out this big boy. Oops. Oh, these are like uh, chair covers. It's a set of two. It's for single seats. So if you need, if you're moving and you want to cover your chairs up that you like got or whatnot, you don't want to get scratched up and all that stuff like that. If you got to put them in storage or something like that, I'm pretty sure this costs a pretty penny too. So uh, if you need something like this, let me know. We can talk about shipping it to you. All the good stuff. So yeah, let's put this down here. Let's see. Last thing, I have no idea what this is. De resting weeding wheel. Let's see. 
Oh, it's not open, so I'm guessing this is for like a weed whacker or something like that. You know, if you need some stuff like that. It says a size 8 for whatever. I have no idea which machine we go to. The cut brush, suckers, treatment, de resting. Oh, like stripping stuff. Cool. Anyway, yeah, this is the last thing that's in this box. So, uh, all out of all for this box, do I think that it was worth the $40? Yes. Um, quite a few things in here that I'm pretty sure that is over the price, especially the chair covers. Um, especially this thing, too. I'm pretty sure, like, on Amazon or something, this thing probably cost, like, $30. So, yeah. I'm probably going to put that back up on Facebook FDA and get rid of it. Uh, but the day, as well, uh, I don't, I'm not familiar with this brand, but I know these things cost, like, almost $200. So, this was another good one. Um, the shoes, probably $20, depending you know, I'm not sure because the brand is called Ashen, so I'm not entirely sure. And let's see. Whatever this is, I know this is probably something over the price of $20. Um, yeah, I'm glad that you guys came and checked out my room uh, to look at these crazy things that I like to open and see what it is and make sure that it's not super explicit. And all that good stuff. So let me move this out of the way real quick. And people, if you got any questions, let me know. What's going on, Phil? Let me move these out of the way real quick. Because I got some other stuff, you know, for the people who haven't been in the room and all that good stuff like that. I have other items that I am trying to sell. All right. First off, I got these Yeezy Boost 380s. They are the Zors, so I'm guessing they are a size 11 and a half. Booyah. If you are a Yeezy fan, brand new in the box, 11 and a half. So if you like them, contact me. We can get these shipped out to you. Of course, we're going to talk about products and shipping and all this stuff. But I can't fit them, so, you know. I know some people like Yeezy. They can't get their hands on them. I just so happen to get my hands on them. So, I'm not a super reseller or whatnot and all this stuff like that. I'm not going to charge you, like, some outrageous, crazy, over-the-top price that you see on, like, on StockX and all this stuff like that. So, yeah. Let me grab these other ones. Have some more 380s these are the heights the color these are size 10 oh you can't even see these because these are kind of like green and it's like in the green screen that's crazy yeah but it's kind of like a green it's a green with another green and all that stuff but they they're dope they kind of got like a little gray up here and all this stuff and it's like Gray on the bottom, but not. But these are a size 10. Then I have, let's see, where are my other ones? I don't think they're in a room. Uh, I got the Onyx, which is the all blacks. They are a size 13. I have two pairs of those. They're a size 13s. And I have two other pairs of shoes that I cannot remember the names of. And I got these also. I got the Air Jordan Retro 9s. You can see they are a size 10. And you can see, boom, boom. And here is the shoe. If you are a Jordan fan or whatnot. These are for sale. Like I said, I am not a super reseller. I'm just trying to get rid of them. Like I said, I know people can't really get their hands on them because they go dead stock almost immediately when they release. But I just so happen to be fortunate to 
get my hands on some. So, if you need them, contact the boy and we can get these things purchased and shipped to you. So, um, last thing, like I said, Xbox Series S. I do want to do a raffle, so hopefully people are interested in doing it. Uh, I'll post it up tomorrow if I get some more people to actually want to participate. And then hopefully I can get it the raffle done by Monday and get it shipped off same day to whoever wins. All right. Boom, boom. Anyway, so that's it for me. I appreciate you guys for joining. Um, I may have another mystery box next week to do again, and then hopefully I'll have some of these crown royal cocktails next week too, so I can do a double video. That would be awesome. Um, yeah, if you guys have any questions, let me know in the chat and I can answer some real quick before I sign out. I'm gonna put this stuff back in the box while I'm doing it. So hit up the chat, let me know if you got any questions about any of the items that you have seen. Um, if you want to see that again, or if you have any particular questions about it that I can answer or try to answer, or like you can see number if you want to look it up and all of this stuff like that. So, yeah. So I'll be here for another five minutes, I guess, and then we can sign off. Ah, I don't even know if I want to put those freaking things in here because it still smells like used condoms. It's so crazy. Like, who would put that in a box? Like, what person at the Amazon place of return was like, this would be a funny joke. Let's put these things in there. It smells like used condoms. How much for the Jordans? Uh, they are going to... How much did I pay for it? Um, how much did I pay for them? Hold on, let me check. Where did I get them from? I got them from Sneaker App. I will have that question answered for you in a second. I think I paid two two hundred. Well, if that's the case, it'll be two fifty. Yeah, two fifty for the Jordans. Actually, it's cheaper online. So, or, oh no, I paid one ninety. So, yeah, like two twenty. 220 for the Jordan Retros. Go. Any other questions? questions i appreciate you people who are still left in the room uh sticking around uh check me out a little later next week for more videos um yeah like i said uh, i'll post the information a little bit later dm me or contact me on my facebook to tell me if you want to enter the raffle, and I'm only going to put it up if I have a certain amount of people. 
I'm not going to put it up if it's not. Because like I said, I don't want to hold people's money for X amount of days. And I still got to get more people to like join and all this stuff. Unless you tell a friend and tell a friend. And you can buy as many slots as you want to. So I'm not going to limit it this time. Like the last one that I have for the Switch, I think I limited it to like three people. So I mean like three, three times that you can enter. So, so this time is going to be unlimited. Get your family, get your friends, all that good stuff. And we can get that thing popping. So, um, I'm going to sign out. Like I said, I appreciate you guys for joining, looking at this video, and sticking around. All right. Take it easy.